Today we're going to install the NZXT Kraken G10 water cooling bracket with the Corsair H75 on the all-powerful EVGA GTX 780 Ti Classified Kingpin Edition. We are going to be starting this video assuming you've got the Kingpin Edition completely disassembled. We're going to start by putting the VRM heat sink back on. I preferred to have this on to increase the cooling to the VRM to help reach those higher overclocks. It should be a pretty simple process. All you have to do is replace the plate back on and then put the screws back into the heatsink plate. There are only three screws holding the plate to the card. Make sure you tighten each one little by little and rotate around to make sure that you get even pressure across the VRM. Now that we have the VRM heatsink plate reinstalled, it's time to prepare the G10 bracket for installation. For the GTX 780 Ti, we will be using the C slots on the back plate. All you'll need to do is take the setting screw, place it in the hole, and make sure you rotate it so it fits with, within the notch. Once you've got the mounting screw in place, you'll take the retaining nut and thread it down. You only need to tighten it hand tight. Its purpose is to make sure the screw stays in place and to also put a barrier between the back plate of the G10 mount and also the PCB so it doesn't rest directly against the PCB. Once you have the nut secure on there, you'll take one of the black washers that was included in the kit and place that on top. Then all you have to do is repeat the process three more times for the remaining screws. to install the plate on the back of the card. The letters NZXT should be facing towards the top of the card. There's really no technical reason for this, it's just aesthetic, so you can read the NZXT when the card's installed into your computer. Now flip the card back over and we're going to prepare the GPU for thermal paste. I like to make sure that my GPU or CPU for that matter are completely clean of any residue or lint so I'm going to give it one more wipe down. Now we're going to do the same for the heatsink plate for the H75 before we install it to the Kraken G10. I forgot to mention this earlier, but for final cleaning I like to use a coffee filter because it does not create any lint, usually for the earlier cleaning process to get the, the larger amount of the old thermal paste or residues off of the CPU, GPU, or a heatsink plate. I like to use paper towel, but for the final cleaning part of the process I like to use a coffee filter. It's a pretty simple household item that also does not have a lot of lint come off of it. It's great for cleaning off before applying thermal paste. The H75 is an Ace Tech style cooler which is what the G10 bracket is compatible with. 
It's very simple. It has locking teeth. All you have to do is insert it into the bracket, push it through, twist it so the teeth will lock with one another, and that's the end of the process. Now we're going to apply the thermal paste. I'm using IC Diamond. When applying thermal paste, I prefer to use the pea-sized method. Unfortunately, when I was recording this, I wasn't paying very much attention and I over-applied. Uh, you'll probably want to use about 25% less of what I actually used here. Now we are going to install the G10 bracket with the heatsink already in place and make sure that you have the cooling fan already installed because once this is installed onto the graphics card, there is no way to remove or install the fan. When tightening down the thumb screws, you do not want to over tighten. This is going to be kind of a snug feel. There's really no better way to describe it. And make sure that when you tighten these down, uh, go around putting each one on and tightening them little by little. One thing that was kind of useful when I was tightening these down is that there is a rubber gasket around the bottom of each of these thumb screws. And you'll start to see it mush out of the side. And you don't want to over tighten it to the point to where those split or break off. So that can kind of help gauge how tight you need to make these. If when you're done, you notice that the PCB is bowing, you have either over tightened these or done something wrong, so make sure you check that and that there is no bow in the PCB. Another quick note of something I did not do in the video, but you can see kind of if you pause, you can see that the bracket is not parallel with the PCB. The reason for this is that those foam footers that are on the bracket are made to rest directly on the PCB and were not planned for the heatsink plate to be underneath it. So all I did to fix this was cut about a quarter inch off with a razor blade and it rests perfectly on top of the VRM heatsink plate. There you have it, the cheapest, easiest installation for a water cooling system for the GTX 780 Ti Classified Kingpin Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.